how chiropractic care works after a whiplash injury. Chiropractic care is conservative care that uses healing modalities without drugs or surgery. When people think of chiropractic care, they are thinking of the spinal adjustments or spinal manipulation. While this is at the hub of chiropractic treatment, chiropractors also use other forms of physiotherapy to reach our goals. We use ice and heat to help with the healing process or to influence the way the muscles react. We use electrical stimulation to tighten and retrain muscles around an area that we just worked on. Sometimes we will use ultrasound to improve circulation to injured areas to stimulate healing. We are trained in kinesiology, so we will give you specific stretches or exercises to do for the muscles that are tight or weak. We are also trained in the art of the physical examination, using the same textbooks and resources that medical doctors use. Whenever I go into an office of a medical doctor who went through school at the same time I did, I see the same examination, pathology, and diagnosis books on his shelf that I have on my shelf. In our office, you'll receive an orthopedic examination, a neurological examination, and other exam procedures that the history and other findings dictate. Along with the exam procedures, we are also trained in the art of differential diagnosis. We can determine what is wrong with you and what could be wrong with you as a potential alternative. A couple of published studies show that chiropractors fresh out of school are better diagnosticians than medical graduates and even seasoned orthopedics when it comes to neuromusculoskeletal topics. Sometimes, especially after a whiplash injury affecting your neck, we will take x-rays of your spine. In our office, we may take flexion and extension x-rays if we think some of the parts are unstable. Or we might take some side bending x-rays to examine the way the spine is moving. As you bend your neck to the side, the bones in your neck should rotate in a specific way. This is known as coupled motion. In an injured spine, your bones may not be moving in the right direction. The x-rays tell us this information and we think it can make our treatments more efficient. As far as the chiropractic spinal manipulation goes, it all works like this. Many times, parts of the spine are not moving as they should. This could be from scar tissue, damaged joint surfaces, disc herniations, muscle memory, or any combination of these. It's actually very common to see that parts of the spine are not moving enough it's rare to find that they are moving too much. The chiropractic adjustment moves a specific set of spinal bones through their full range of motion and provides an impulse that causes that popping noise and a nice reflex. The reflex influences the spinal cord at the same level of the spine that we just adjusted and it also sends a signal that influences reflex in the brainstem and brain. This neurological reflex will calm down your tight muscles tighten up flaccid muscles, and influence parts of your spinal cord and brain that helps you with your pain relief. Some studies show that chiropractic adjustments have an effect on your brain that improves motor patterns in the muscles and the perception of where you are in space, proprioception. These are fundamental things that go on every second, continuously, but they can become damaged in an injury and they can be helped with chiropractic care. With an injury, chiropractic care is usually done with a comprehensive care plan. Since it can take up to a year for ligaments to fully heal, we may want to see you for about that time frame for tough trauma. The care plan that you receive is made specifically for you. The care plan usually involves a lot of visits up front where we can see you often during the acute phase and the repair phases of healing. We want to stay on top of the process so we can have the best outcomes possible. Early on in the treatment plan, you receive a lot of passive care. Passive care is that care that is done to you without you exerting a lot of effort. As you start to heal, you then move into a phase of care that is called active care. Active care is where you do a lot of the moving. This is very important for your ideal healing of the soft tissue and for the strength and coordination of your muscles. And when I say that we are improving the strength and coordination of your muscles, I mean we are trying to get them back to the way they were, not to make you an athlete. That can come later. 
Along the way through the course of treatment, we will want to document your progress. We have specialized disability index forms that we have you fill out every once in a while during your care. Along with these forms, we will be retesting our progress with more physical examinations. With our treatment and you're taking good care of yourself, we will see fewer positive exam procedures and better neck and back range of motion. After several weeks of treatment, we will start to see you less and less. We go from doing passive care to active care. We want, to, we want you to be empowered to do your own healing by doing your exercises to build stamina and strength of the supporting spinal muscles. We will guide you through this process, but we won't let you skip it. This active care process is extremely important for your well-being. I'm Dr. Todd Lloyd, a chiropractic physician inside the Innova Pain Clinic in St. George, Utah. The Innova Pain Clinic is located inside the East Ridge Mall, right across the street from Barnes & Noble and the Red Cliffs Mall. If you have been in a whiplash injury, or if you have neck pain that you need to have taken care of, give our office a call. Our number is 435-574-9114.